I'm Jocelyn, and this is my husband Justin, and we are the captains and owners of the schooner Jamie Regan. When we decided that this is what we wanted to do, this is the boat that really reached out and, and grabbed us. All right, throat, now time for the big ones. When I say he, I'm you just say ho. Through hey. mountains and through Whoa. snow, I am hey. waiting on the wind oh. and to tell hey. me where to go. Justin and I met in 2015 Whoa. when I was working on the chimes and he was working on the on the rigging right here. Yeah. We had both worked on schooners and wind jammers for quite a while at that point, and we were both in this place where we loved doing this so darn much. And we were both mates on boats, so we... We sat down with Annie and John in uh, 2016 owners. and asked them what it looked like to make that leap from working on the wind jammers to owning and operating one. And so we packed up our lives and moved to South Florida and we worked on yachts. We told them that it would probably take us five years and they said we'd really like for you to do it in three and we managed to do it in two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> we really knew that this particular boat was the right fit for us in the direction that we wanted to grow in. I myself started working and sailing on this boat almost about 15 years ago, back when I was 13, as just a tiny little guest. So I would come back every summer as a little apprentice until I was about old enough to actually work as a deckhand until finally becoming the mate on the rig end. Just always felt like this boat was so intertwined with our story, which was really important to us when we were making this decision. When we were picking the place we wanted to spend the rest of our working lives, this just felt like the natural step. This is our third trip all on the rigging. We're now relics. Woo! We have been fortunate enough to be surrounded by like such a supportive community of folks who really love this boat and get to be a part of preserving this history very much in the way that it would have been operated almost 100 years ago. It's really cool to come on board. It's a really special life. It's like this boat obviously has an amazing history, and to come on with the new owners has been really great. It's like time just kind of fades away on one of these boats. I gather that line as the yeah. sails comes in. Oh yeah, the guests all help out. It's a working vacation. They raise the sails, they set the awning. Bob drives. Bob steers. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. Captain Bob over here. <laughs> Their aim is to make everybody else love it as much as they do. And if you can do that with like-minded souls and great food, then it's a win-win. <laughs>We have the best of both the sea and the land. Working with all the local main ingredients, it was kind of hard not to fall in love with the whole process. Especially the wood stove. It's such a unique type of cooking. But when something comes out perfect, it's so much more rewarding. We have the best chef, <laughs> Jane E. Riggins. Oh, yeah. So 30 trips and never another schooner, always with the brigand. The roots around Augusta are too rough upon the soles of these shoes that walk to bring me back to you. Many miles I have crossed and many hours to head long to a dream. I wouldn't sail any other way, I don't think. This is awesome. Yeah. That's what's so fun about it. So my friend, my amiga, this is my amiga. It's better than Jeff, you're in the low way. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, It took 
a little bit of time for us to come to the conclusion that yes, this is what we want to do and how we're willing to take the steps to uh, make it happen. We just feel so fortunate to be able to do this at this point in our lives. It, it's it really just, just felt, a feeling. Yeah. It just felt right. <laughs> <laughs> we have so many more incredible years in front of us continuing on our legacy.